Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Miss Linda C. Jones, the YouTube variety channel that incorporates a myriad of topics, including health. And yes, you guessed it, my dear friends, today's topic is health. Uh, you may be wondering, what is that vegetable that Linda has um, sitting before us that we're viewing? It is collard greens, a powerhouse of health. I encourage each and every one of you to do your research on the health benefits of collard greens. And in my crock pot, you'll see a pot full of collard greens and ham. And yes, it is healthy, and we'll get into that in just a little bit. Um, and my little disclaimer, I am not a doctor or healthcare professional, but I am sharing my health experiences with you, my positive experiences. And again, as always, please be sure to do your research. Um, this very healthy bottle of olive oil does have a, late, a lot date on it. Please do your research on that. That's very important to obtain the best and most healthy form of olive oil. And then my apple cider vinegar and avocado oil. The Chosen Foods brand is really, really good. And no, notice the USDA organic and non-GMO symbols. Very important. So let's go ahead and um, I will share with you the recipe. So I cut the collard greens up to a desired size and I placed them in a mixing bowl and I poured a little bit of the apple cider vinegar over the collard greens and mixed them with water. That was to sterilize, to clean uh, the phenomenal, extraordinary, never ending benefits of apple cider vinegar include that you can clean fruits and vegetables with apple cider vinegar to get off any unwanted pesticides if you have not actually purchased organic. And then I rinse them really well. I poured one carton of chicken broth that's USDA organic non GMO into the crock pot. Then I fill the crock pot with the cleansed cut collard greens. I boil some water because I had ran out of purified water and I filled the remainder of the crock pot up with the water. I cut up some ham pieces and put on top. I put some organic sea salt on top and a little bit of um, pepper. I also put a couple of tablespoons of the extra virgin olive oil as well as the avocado oil. In just a few moments, I'm going to place the top on and let it cook. Now, some might argue, but Linda, you're putting ham on there. Ham is meat. That's going to turn to fat. Fat does not turn to fat. It is sugars, bad carbs that turn to fat. Not good carbs from veggies and fruits, but bad carbs, processed sugars, breads, desserts, and things of that nature. Now, I'm not doing full-blown keto, but I'm doing a combination. My little health plan is a combination of keto and uh, Fit for Life. Shout out to the authors of Fit for Life, Marilyn and Harvey Diamond, which I would invite you to check out them, do some research on that book called Fit for Life, Food Combining. So I'm doing a little combination of appropriate food combining and keto and maybe even a little South Beach. So shout out to all of you. And this seems to really, really work for me in terms of optimum health. So, <clears throat> excuse me, a meal could be made on this but I'll probably either bake some salmon later or some chicken, and I'll have the chicken along with the collard greens and ham. Um, I may cut up an avocado and have a little bit of tomato and um, cucumber, and that makes for a really good salad. And so according to the book Fit for Life, this would be known as appropriate food combining. And when you eat this way, what's amazing about it is that it fills you up, it doesn't cause you to have cravings for more bad carbs, i.e. breads and just all of this processed stuff that really isn't good for us. While it's delicious, it's not good for us. But when you eat this way and you're eating foods that have tons of fiber, it fills you up and it helps you not to have cravings for food that puts on pounds and doesn't fill us up. So, 
This is my health recipe for the day. Uh, shout out to my mom who raised us on collard greens and lots of healthy vegetables. Love and miss you, mom. Uh, she passed away about 10 years ago. And also yesterday, right here in my hometown of New Orleans, Louisiana, we um, remembered the 14th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. Lots of prayers to all those remembering this day, those that lost loved ones, and all of us who endured any kind of suffering as a result of this massive destructive hurricane. And also, I send up mega, mega prayers for all of those bracing for Hurricane Dorian and who will be affected by that. I send up mega, mega prayers to all of you. I'd like to thank you all so much again for being a part of the Miss Linda C. Jones YouTube Variety Channel. And again, prayers to everyone. May God bless and keep you all. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye.